Hi friends, so today I am sitting down for a Tip Tuesday to do a really quick, messy, bun, updo, whatever you want to call this, hairstyle that you guys ask me about all the time. If you are not aware, my goal for 2019 is to hit 100,000 subscribers, so if you are not yet subscribed to me, I'd love if you click that little red button down below, and let's jump right into this hairstyle. All right, so starting off, this is just how my hair was when I slept in it last night. I am going to pull it out of the hair tie. <clears throat> the hair ties I use are this type and they stretch out, but if you blast them with a hair dryer, they go right back. So I'm actually gonna use another one. This is one that I hit with a hair dryer yesterday. Put it on my wrist. First thing I use is I use my Monate Rejuvenique Mist. I spray it on a brush and I brush out all the knots, anything that might be in my hair. So that has really good nutrients in it and it helps to get out any tangles, any knots, any weird little areas that are catching, any of that. All right, then I take my Alterna Caviar Sheer Dry Shampoo. It's a powder spray one. I use this one on the days where I'm doing this. And I start kind of down here because it's kind of, I worked out this morning and it's a little bit gross. And I just kind of go through both sides and a little bit in the back and a little bit underneath. And there's like, how many? I think it's like some ridiculous amount of times you can use this. I forget what it is. While that is setting, I take my Rejuvenique oil, take a pump and I literally do two drops. Close that up, something's rattling. Get that on the edges of my hands and I just work it on the ends of my hair because I wanna keep them healthy. And then I just start working the dry shampoo in. I just kind of shake it all in. <laughs> I don't know why my mirror is making a weird rattling noise. All right, next thing I do, I'm gonna take my hair and I'm gonna pull it, brush it into a pulled pretty high ponytail. I go all the way around so it's nice and smoothed out. The brush I like to use, it's a wet shine brush. Got it on Amazon. So I just make sure that there's no like bumps or little weird areas sticking out. See, that one right there just popped out. All right, and then I'm gonna take it really, really, really quite, I'm gonna scoot down a little bit, really high up, okay? And then I take it and I go one, depending on how thick your hair is, two, and depending on how tight you want it, three, and I usually go on the fourth one for this. Pretty tight. All right, and then, and then I take it, as you can see, lots of hair sticking out, and I'm going to pull it up and through until there's not much left back here. A little bit. All right, so that's pretty much what's left there. So I have this funny looking little waterfall thing on the top of my head, okay? First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it right where the hair tie meets, and I'm gonna pull it forward however much I want, however much volume you want in the front, do the same thing on the sides. Kind of keep going until it looks like you have enough volume and it looks a little bit even. All right, and then the next thing I do, and I like a lot more volume towards the front, is I actually hold this up and I take one of the corners, like where I can stick my thumb through the thing, and I'm gonna pull it down and I'm gonna take a bobby pin and I actually take the bobby pin and I grab some of these extra hairs, not all of them, about half of them, and I'm going to put that in and push it up and back. Then I'm gonna take another one, same thing in the same area and kind of crisscross them. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, stick my thumb through here, get those extra hairs. I'm gonna take a bobby pin, and then I'm gonna do another one and crisscross it. So this part is gonna look kind of messy, but that's fine, okay? Then I come back to the front, and I've got kind of like these pieces that are falling out, which is fine. I have a couple here, but then I wanna keep that volume at the front, so I'm gonna take two bobby pins. I'm gonna make this so it looks as even as it can, so you can see the difference from this here to this here, okay? So I take these, and I actually go 
and do the same type of thing. So I'm gonna crisscross them right here in the front. So that gives me that little bit of a look. So I've got some pieces that are falling out. It looks a little bit messy. It also has some pieces that are together. And I like the look of this. I think it's super easy, it's super fun, and it's just a great way to do those last day before ditch effort before you wash your hair days.